Hi friends, my name is Vikas. Today I am going to tell you that how to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.0 on VMware Workstation version 12.5.2 This is the VMware Workstation console Click on the file, open the VMware workstation and create a new virtual machine. Select the custom advanced radio button and proceed to next. Proceed to the next step. Select the installation source such as installer disk, installer disk ISO image. Third, I will install the operating system later. So I am going to install the operating system later. Specify Linux as a guest operating system and the version. So drop down the list. Select the RHEL 7 64 bit. Proceed to next step. On the name and virtual machine page, specify the name and location of the virtual machine and proceed to the next. So here I am creating a Linux folder inside the D drive. Click on OK and then next. Proceed to next step again. Select the memory size to speed up the installation. So here I am selecting 2 GB RAM. To speed up the installation, select type of network connection, go to the next step, select SCSI as a virtual disk type, select the disk as a new virtual disk, choose the first video button, create a new virtual disk. In the specific disk capacity page, Set the desired size and select the store virtual disk as a single file option. Proceed to next step. Dot VMDK file. Here I am going to store it in D drive inside the Linux folder. Proceed to next. Click on edit virtual machine setting. Select your ISO file. So I am here going to upload the ISO file which is inside RLC7 folder. Here I follow some setting on network adapter, USB controller, sound card. Go to OK. Power on virtual machine. On the boot option, select Red Hat Enterprise Line 7.0 and press enter.
the installation process is begin on the welcome page select the language and click continue click on date and time choose your region and city so here i'm going to select asia as a region and city all the time click on done Installation sources will nothing to be changed. Click on software selection and select server with GUI option. Default package selection does not contain GUI packages. Hence, if you do not select the GUI package manually, you will not able to switch into the graphical user interface. On installation destination page, click on I will configure partitioning. Click on done. choose partition type so here i am selecting standard partition as a partition type whose id is 83 so for installation linux operating system we require three partition slash slash boot and swap for creating these three partition click on plus button to add a new partition slash which is same as in windows c operating system give 15 gb slash boot which is up to 150 mb and swap partition which is just double of your ram so here i am giving the swap partition is up to 4 gb just double of the ram so in my case i created 2 gb ram so swap partition is just double of your ram that is 4 gb click on done select accept changes and click on begin installation as you see the installation has begun in the meantime you can add your password for your root user so here i am giving password as a red hat for root user and confirm the password again red hat click on done root is same as administrator password in windows also you can see the create additional user by using the user creation thumbnail so here i am giving additional user as a student and password in my case i am giving pass 1 2 3 confirm the password again pass 
on the KDUMP configuration page. Let us enable the KDUMP and let the machine decide the amount of memory required for the SIM. Choose automatic as a radio button. On subscription management registration page, choose the radio button No, I prefer to register at a later time. Next, you will get the login screen page, which means you successfully installed our operating system Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.0 64 bit. Login with root as a user. And in our case, I had created a password red hat. Go to next. Now you will get into this screen. Choose the language English United States. Go to the next step. Again, go to the next step. Start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. Open the terminal. Root at the rate localhost desktop. The root from where I have login. PWD present working di directory that is slash root slash desktop. I log in with root and presently I am on desktop. Thank you for watching this video RHEL 7.0 on VMware Workstation.